Hello, you wonderful people of YouTube. Today, I want to showcase a cool application I made with Next.js, Strapi, and OpenAI to generate cyberpunk characters, including their image, a backstory, and give you opportunity to generate as many stories as you like using the power of OpenAI. So let's do a quick demo. Here, you could click Generate Character. Let's generate character. What this is doing, it is making a call to the OpenAI API. And based on our prompts that we'll take a look in a little bit, it will go ahead and generate an image for our character as long as a very simple description or a backstory. So here we are, Hiram Kagan, male. Hiram is a mysterious cyberpunk hacker with a knack for getting into the most secure system. You could go ahead and save the character to your database. And now we have our character. We could also click on our character and generate a story. This is going to go ahead, take into account Hiram, his backstory and some additional prompts, and it'll go ahead and generate story based on this character that you could read and enjoy. And here we have a story talking about his mysterious past. Hiram was always a mysterious figure, even in the grim cyberpunk world of 2077. He wore a black trench coat and a pair of reflective sunglasses. I like how the story matches our character, which is pretty cool. We could go to back to our articles. Uh, let's generate another story. Actually, let's go ahead and generate another character. So let's generate a character. Cool, now we have Ricky. Ricky is a cyberpunk mercenary living on the fringes of society. Let's click save character to save it to our database. And let's go ahead and generate a story for Ricky. And here's Ricky's story. You could read more about her, which is kind of cool. And uh, the most important part is that I wanted to get it to work. And if I wanted to make the stories more involved, that all comes down to the prompting and things used. But I just wanted to build this quick starter app to kind of show you the power of using AI to generate cool things. And another feature that I'm going to add to this application, you will actually be able to click a chat button and talk to your characters about their life, which I think is pretty awesome. So this is the app in a nutshell. It is built with the front end is Next.js, which is actually just displaying the data. Our back end is built with Strapi. Strapi is actually what's making the calls to our OpenAI API. And if you wanted to, because we do have authentication, it's very, very easy to create an authentication page where people have to log in to generate stories. I didn't want to do that this time around because I just wanted to make an intro tutorial and it's built with OpenAI API. And the two that I'm using is text completion and Dolly image generation. Once you create your characters, they're saved in our database. Let me refresh here. Here are the two characters that we generated. You could see the image and you could see the story associated with them. And it also, all the stories that it creates, it saves them here. And what's awesome, like you could go ahead and you could edit these stories and add to them if you wanted to, which I like the fact that Strapi gives you this ability to see backend data with this nice UI. So let's take a look in the code and see how this works. All right, so I'm the user, I'm using my Next.js app. I click the generate button. It's going to go ahead and on form submit, call the generate character function. Here's the generate character function that is called by this on submit. When that happens, it's going to go ahead and make a post request to our strappy endpoint. When the request comes, the first thing we do is hit our generate character route. Once we hit the route, that points us to our controller. Our controller points us to our service, which handles all the business logic, which like magic will do the thing that we need and will return the character. So here's the route when it hits this endpoint, which will call our generate character controller. That's going to go ahead and call our generate character service. Our service is where all of our business logic lies. We have our generate random character function that will basically have a super prompt that showcases what we want to do. And here we say create a random cyberpunk character, a male or female. I'll put the character data as JSON format with the following attributes. And here's the attributes that I want to be returning that JSON data. Name, gender, description, persona prompt that we could later use to generate the story and image prompt. Once we generate our character and what we're doing, we're calling the OpenAI SDK and recalling their create completion function that allows us to pass a prompt and return back the data based on our prompt. Once our character is generated, we go ahead and take that 
image prompt and use it to use OpenAI Dolly to create an image based on the image prompt that we return from our first request. Once we have both the character and the image, we go ahead and return our character data back to our Next.js application. Once the data is returned, it's going to be saved to state and we're going to see our character preview like we have it here. When we click on save character, it's going to go ahead and call the save character function based on the click event in the form. So when our card is displayed because we have our data that we previously generated of our character, we have a unsubmit event, which is going to call the save character function, which will go ahead and pass our data to our Strapi endpoint that's available to us in Strapi, which will go ahead, save the data and save it to our character database. And here's the character that we just generated. So we could go ahead and select the character. Let's hit Sparrow, the character we just created, and we could go ahead and generate the story. As the story is generating, I'm gonna walk you through the flow, which is similar to what we accomplished when creating our character. Once we click the create story button, it's gonna follow the similar pattern that we had before, which is our front end is going to do a unsubmit or unclick event, which will call our generate story function. That's gonna go ahead and make a post request to our strappy endpoint, which is gonna hit our route first, then controller and service. And then like magic, it's going to go ahead and use OpenAI text completion to generate our story. So let's look at the code. And here's our front end. On our front end, we have a simple form which has an unsubmit event that's gonna go ahead and generate and save our story. So this is gonna go ahead, use the data from our character. We're gonna pass it to our post request to our generate story endpoint. Once we get the data, we're gonna go ahead and do a follow-up request to our Strapi end to save the generated story to our database. But the most important part, let's take a look how our backend handles the story generation. So we have a routes folder where we have a generate story route. When we match this route on the post request, we go ahead and fire our generate story controller. Our generate story controller, just call our service with the same name, generate story. And this is where all the magic lives within generate story. We have a generate story function, which is called from our server. And what we're doing here is we are passing our character data that we need because we want to generate the story about our character. I have this super prompt, which I'm using to describe for OpenAI text completion, how to generate the story. Create a cyberpunk fantasy story based on cyberpunk 2077 roles using the template below and output story in Markdown because that's what we want. We want Markdown so it's much easier to display our data and render it to the front end. Then we pass the character backstory where we want the name, gender, description, persona, and image that's both coming from our next JS application. And then we have a writing prompt that helps to guide AI to generate somewhat of a decent story. Consider what the underlying reasons and motivations that fuel their relentless crusades for justice. Is it a personal vendetta or maybe a tragic past? So basic idea and prompt to help us write the story. The story should be written in the third and should be written in the past tense. Randomized adventure story elements such as the setting and plot and character conflict. So we have some randomness and based on the character's backstory, writer story, there's at least 1000 words. We go ahead and pass that prompt to text completion and open API using their SDK. And the temperature, by the way, defines how much randomness you want. So every time you regenerate the story, it's going to be different. And once we return our story, we go ahead and pass it back to our Next.js application, which will go ahead and render a story that we did. And the save function that I showed you before makes a secondary call that will save the story to our backend here. I just wanted to share this cool project with you to show you some interesting ways that you could start playing with OpenAI. I think getting uh, and coming up with interesting use cases of how to use open API, especially if you don't know any like super hardcore AI stuff, how to build your own models, actually learning to use the models that exist is a good way to start. So this is kind of what I'm doing for next uh, three to six months. My goal is to right now is to explore all the open AI possibilities 
using it. Uh, there's this other library called Langchain, Chain, which makes it even super more powerful and awesome. So I want to exhaust all those functionalities with combining OpenAI with Langchain first. And once I get pretty good and confident with that, I'm going to move on to building more apps where I'm going to try to use other models that are not just by OpenAI that you could find on websites like Hugging Face, and that way you could come up and create limitless amount of cool AI powered apps. And I wanted to do this to showcase that you don't have to be an expert in AI to start utilizing the power of AI to create something cool. If you like this project, I'll get the tutorial up for you and share it with you. And if you are interested in more development and, and I'm going to talk about all the other stuff I talk about how to get hired, what you should do, but I think um, exploring new, like new field of AI and becoming AI literate, even at the most beginning level, like I'm doing here, is actually a good way for you to stay relevant in the field. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.